This is the Paul Noble exhibition at the Gagosian Gallery in London. It's called Welcome to Nobson, and it's a collection of drawings and sculpture. It's also part of Noble's prolific 15-year project, detailing his plans for the imaginary city of Nobson Newtown. At the entrance is Noble's take on Genesis. The words are lifted from the Bible, but the images are quintessentially noble. Their letters turned into architectural forms, populated by blobby beings created by the omnipotent, omniscient noble. The religious tone of the exhibition continues with its main focus. An almost fresco-like drawing on the wall, reminiscent of the old piece of a church. It's flanked by two monumental blob sculptures mounted on plinths, one of which even calls to mind a Madonna and child couple, one blob sitting on the other's lap. Noble even shows us heaven and hell. Hell is rather inviting. Its fences dance with curves and spheres that please the eye, its gates flung wide open. Heaven, on the other hand, well, it's the very picture of hell. Despite the clean, OCD-like precision with which Noble handles his subjects, Nobson seems to be a shrine to waste. There are toilets, rubbish bags and blobs everywhere. And let's be honest, the blobs are little more than anthropomorphic poo. I see Noble as the modern-day Hieronymus Bosch, and welcome to Nobson, the culmination of his 15-year brainchild really provides us with an updated garden of earthly delights, or perhaps abominations. Oh.